Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Bay Beauty Official. I am going to show you how I do my makeup. It takes me about 10, I lied, back it up. I am gonna show you how I do my makeup in less than 25 minutes, it's quick. I kinda do it backwards. I put my eyeliner on after I put my mascara. I find it to be easier. Um, if you're not really good with putting on liquid eyeliner, this is gonna be your best bet. Stay tuned, I hope you like what you see. I love you. So everybody, firstly, I am going to start off by moisturizing my face. The moisturizer that I'm using in this tutorial is called the Monte Vibiano Anti-Aging Face Moisturizer. It is extremely lightweight. I have oily skin, and if you do too, I highly recommend it. After that, I'm going to follow up with my NYX Color Correcting Primer. I believe there's about four shades, blue, green, yellow, and pink. And now in Walgreens, you'll be able to buy it because NYX partnered with Walgreens so it's in the stores now. How easy and how convenient, right? After I finish priming my face, I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape in the color Light Sand using my IT Cosmetics number 203 Blending Concealer Brush. After I finish highlighting the top of my eyes, I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color Soft Brown using my Anastasia number 12 Dual Ended Angle Brush. Now, go ahead and take your time to work it in. A little bit of product goes a long way. This is actually a little bit too dark for my hair color, um, so if I, so yeah, whatever. It's a little bit too dark, so I recommend using Taupe if you're as blonde as me or even a lighter shade. Um, I've always had dark eyebrows naturally. Yes, I know I look crazy, but trust me, in the end, it'll all work itself out, or so I hope. When I finish uh, shading in my eyebrows, I'm going to set my eyebrows with the Benefit Cosmetics Gimme Brow Eyebrow Fiber Gel. Then I'm going to go in with my foundation. I am using the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Longwear High Coverage Foundation. It is crazy expensive, but it's honestly a game changer. It's the best foundation I've ever used. I Actually, when I put it on, I don't even feel like it's there, but it literally gives you this matte finish that's like, it's just like silk. Ah, it's wonderful. If it lasts eight months rather than four, I think it would be better as far as like economically. But it's just worth it, and it sucks because I found it, and I don't think I'll ever go back to another foundation again. Ah. I'm going to go in after with my Zoeva Number no. 6 powder brush to set my foundation using the IT Cosmetics Airbrush Perfecting Powder. When I finish that, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape again in the color Light Sand to highlight the bottom of my eyes, my nose, my forehead, my chin, and my lips. So when I finish with that, I'm going to go ahead and use a damp beauty blending sponge that I got from the dollar store to just go ahead and work that in. Once I finish working the product underneath my eyes, on my nose, my chin, my lips, and my forehead, I am going to set it with the Kat Von D Block It Brightening Powder in the color Petal. So once I finish applying the powder to the bottom of my eyes, my nose, my chin, and my forehead, I'm going to use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Dual Ended Contour Brush using the round side just to go ahead and blend that in. Once I finish with that, I'm going to use the Shade and Light Contour Palette. I'm going to be using Shadow Play, which is the color right in the middle, just to go ahead and give my cheeks and forehead some definition. So I'm going to go ahead and just take my time to work the product in, because if not, you will look like you have brown lines on your face. So go ahead, take, it, take your time, work it in, go slow. When I finish with that, I'm going to use my Stigma E55 eye shading brush. You can use any brush that's basically flat for this. I just use it to give my nose some definition and the bottom of my lips so they can look a little bigger. Then I use the same blush to go blend it in. Once you finish defining your nose, I'm sorry it's upside down. This is actually the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer. I'm using my MAC 129 blush brush to blend that out. I'm just going to give myself a little bit of glow since I'm wearing orange today. I figure it goes. Then afterwards, I'm going to use just a cheap dollar store blush brush, and I'm going to use my Tarte Cosmetics blush palette, which I absolutely love. I went in to buy one blush, came out with four for the same price I was going to buy the one. So basically, I'm a winner. I'm a winner. After that, I'm going to moisturize my lips with Aquaphor Life Changer. I suggest you buy it or look it up. After that, I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsession Palette. Oh my God, I love Huda Beauty, their products. Their eyeshadows are so pigmented. If you haven't purchased any, go ahead and try it. I love it. I only get the small palettes because I find them to be a lot cheaper, more economical, and you can get the same colors everywhere. It's just, I wanted to say that I had a Huda Beauty palette, okay, and I do now. When I finish that, I'm going to use just a Tarte eyelash curler that I got for Christmas 
Then I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. Now, I used to use the L'Oreal Carbon Black. Both are really great. I just find that this one's just a little bit more waterproof. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to work that in until they look almost like if I got them done. All right, everybody, now it's time for the hard part. No, I'm just kidding. It's actually very easy. Like I said in the beginning of the tutorial, I put it on after I put my mascara. It just saves you time. I find your lines are thinner, and it's, it's a lot harder for you to mess up. Um, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to do the top of my eyes. Then I'm going to work on my wing. You see what I mean? You got to check it. Then I'm going to start with my other eye. Just take your time. What I love about this eyeliner is that it is so easy to put on and it's so easy to take off i actually exchanged with my sister because we got free products from sephora using our points she wanted my brow gel i wanted her liquid eyeliner at the end who's the winner dulce idol is the winner me <laughs> when i finish with my liquid eyeliner i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to Add a little bit more mascara just to make sure that they all look even and they didn't get clumped together. Then I'm going to highlight my face with the Rihanna Fenty Beauty Shimmer Matchstick in the color Trippin' because girls, you know we be trippin'. After that, I'm going to use my Stigma Round Edged Kabuki Brush and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to blend that in and yeah, just make sure there's no lines. Just blend it in. Blend, 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 blend. Okay, so we're almost finished with everything, and after I finish blending the product in, I am going to be going in with the NYX Color Cream Liquid Lipstick in the color Light Peach. No, it doesn't say that the color is Light Peach, but visually it is Light Peach, so I'm going to call it Light Peach. I actually got it in the NYX, um, I don't know what it was, but it was $65 at Sephora for Christmas, and it came with literally all the colors obsessed once i finish with my lips i'm gonna use the kat von d lock it setting spray i'm gonna spray my face i'm gonna let it dry and then ooh, look at me now look at me now my eyebrows look okay too i think they match thank you guys so much for watching my tutorials this is the second one i love you stay tuned for more bye